I think I'm going to peel some bacon out of here. I mean, I'm not kidding. Just rip it right out of the package. Well, look what I did. I burned my bacon. That's, that's probably unconstitutional to do that. Ah. That's what happens when I get out doing other stuff. I get sidetracked. Anyway, well, I'll put some more in. It'll all be good in the end. So I went over to the Tahoe because I was going to get my PD shelter up. You might remember that from uh, it's kind of like my mini parachute shelter. That works really nice in the rain. I mean, it is awesome. I've got the poles to it and everything in the Tahoe, but I don't have it. <laughs> because when I left home, I was camping under the tree up in the mountains. Then, being spontaneous as I am, I changed my mind last minute. and wound up coming out on the desert. And I need things for rain, not snow out here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the way it is. Well, here we go. I just switched over to my Sennheiser microphone. It's waterproof microphone. Well, so this is my... Uh, this is my poncho, the RTS one, uh, dark olive, ready to ship. So if you order today, get it right away. You know, it's not a terrible rain, but you know, we're in the mid thirties and it's kind of a sprinkle. It's one of those kind of things that if you don't put something on, then you're going to get soaked. You like your shoulders and uh, you get it soaking wet over time. So I threw the poncho on just to kind of help out. And I put my uh, 511 belt that's normally on my pants. I just put it around the poncho down the waist. I don't usually use one, but working around camp and the campfire, I don't want to lean over and let the, and this thing kind of fall into the fire. So it's so when it's nice to have a little belt or something. Oftentimes I just use a piece of parachute cord or something, but I thought, well, I'll try my belt and see if that works. It's actually nicer. <laughs> you know, make it so I can get down in here and kind of work with that stuff without, you know, having to hold it back with my hand or something like that. This is probably going to be a fast cook because my pan's hot. <laughs> but it'll be just fine. Give me a little bit of salt and pepper on there before it's too late. Which it almost is. Yeah, I got a hot fire here. And it's raining to boot. Alright, so I got me some salt and pepper eggs here. Once again, we are cooking in the rain. It was just a sprinkle, it's picked up a little more. And we could have a couple hours of this today or so, who knows. All right.
Now I oftentimes use the bigger, use the fry pan for cooking the stuff in. I use the bigger one oftentimes, kind of off to the side a little bit, just kind of as a warming pan. So once this whole thing gets nice and warm, it helps keep your food warm while you're cooking everything else. I had some hamburger buns that were that have been kind of laying around and need to be used. Looks like it's like that one's a little squished. <laughs> I use this to put me together a bacon egg. I got some cheese, bacon egg, cheese sandwich or whatever. We'll just kind of toast these up. That one's a little smashed right there, but. Like my grandpa said, it all eats the same. So we'll eat it. Just put this tin in here with some hot coals. Cause I wanted to melt some cheese into the eggs. So now that that's done, about ready to make up my sandwich here. Well, we're gonna go quick here. It's raining. I'm a ketchup guy. Look at that, a little bit of mustard. Whoa, you either get a little or a lot with mustard. All right, now, now let's put some egg on the sandwich here. There we go. Egg, a little bit of some bacon, some more bacon, and some more bacon, and a lid. And now, now a little bit of Tabasco on there, just to warm things up a bit. There we go. Well, dinner in the rain. No big deal. Kind of pretty looking out there though. <clears throat> it gives you a sense of satisfaction really when the, the more you can kind of just live in the outdoors without too much extra stuff, you know, like less shelter or whatever is simple, it gives you kind of a satisfaction to be able to do it and be comfortable. And uh, I've always liked that ever since I was a teenager. It's a good feeling. I mean, there's my scenery right there, you know? What the heck's wrong with that? Red rocks and snow, junipers and sage and pinyon pine, cottonwoods down in the wash there. It's all good, I'm telling you what. It's all good. Well, a little snow on the desert here. Awfully pretty. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you gotta love it. Look at those nice big flakes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> Raindrops in the cup here. 